Hello again, this is the Watering Man. I'm going to do a little spiritual toolbox short. Um, I'm going to title it, Jesus is not a wimp. Okay, now let's go to Matthew chapter 23, verse 27, where Jesus is talking to the scribes and the Pharisees. <laughs> Right, the big time DJ. Hmm. Jesus is laying down the law. The law of love. Not this facade of No, no, no. That's not the way. The truth and life. That's not Yahweh's salvation now, is it? Put a sock in it. <laughs> Here, let's read this. <coughs> I'm just going to read this one verse, and you can read and study the other. I might get more to it later. I might even break down a word or two in here, just a little bit, but I'm not going to do a whole lot. <coughs> Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Exclamation point. For you are like whitened sepulchres, tombs, graves, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly. Yeah. But on the contrary, are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. All right. Let's look at this just a little bit closer. Okay. Woe is pain, grief, and suffering. Pain, grief, and suffering to you, hypocrites. Stage actors. Be another word for that, hypocrites. Hmm? That word, hypocrites, let me look at that. Uh, I had, I pronounced that before. I, I was looked at, I have had to do it on here, but let me just do it. So. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right there. Hypocrites, 5273-H-Y-P-O-K-R-I-T-E-S. This word. Strong's G, 5273. Hypocrites. 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 Okay. It's stage actors. Pretenders. BSers. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> trying to polish the outside of the coat, get all kinds of stuff inside, okay? All right, now that woe is pain, grief, and suffering. That comes from O-U-A-I, this word. Strong's G, 3759, Why? <clears throat> Why? All right, that means pain, grief, and suffering. Let's look a little bit closer, yeah. Uh, a primary exclamation of grief. Oh, woe is me! <laughs> Crying and carrying on and acting like a buffoon. Over nothing. One thing, you break your leg or something and it hurts. <laughs> huh? He's crying for a reason. These cats are crying over bullshit. <laughs> you offended me. I don't people do that. People don't do that today, do they? Look for something to cry about. Hypocrites. <laughs> Alright. I uh, get it to the woe, pain, grief, and suffering. Okay. You know, you are, that's 47 times and 40, 36 verses in the TR Greek in the New Testament. Okay. Enough on that. I'll get more later if you want. All right, now, so woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. We're out there hollering, Woo! I'm styling and profiling. Look at me, man, look at me. Look how pretty I am. I'll polish and buff that stuff up on my outside. Yeah! Arrogance, pride. Doesn't pride come before a fall? You big dumbasses. You're feeding into your own donkey nature because they shine the outside of the cup and the inside of the cup is full of all kinds of dead man's bones. That's in this verse, huh? Okay. Um, 
Okay, they're, they're, they appear beautiful on the outside. Shining it all up, man. You can't see that 666 nature in me. But within, and that butt, let's make sure. Uh, I went too fast on it. Hang on now. That butt is day. D E. Okay, 1161. And that means it's adversative or continuative. They're not continuing in God. They're continuing in their own BS. Their own dumb thinking. They're missing the mark in their agreement. They're doing it paroptima. Or, uh, yeah, paroptima. That's an intentional or unintentional side separator. Hey, they don't know nothing about this. They just apologize. I can't believe all that inside stuff in their mind alone. <laughs> they don't know what we're thinking. They're a stage performer. Huh? Yeah, we're really lying to them, but they just don't know it. Okay. Alright, you get the idea, right? Put on a big old facade. It's not real. They're putting it on just to get a pretty little pan. Here, pat me on the back. Yeah, you bow down before me. Don't worry about really bowing down, submitting to God in your mind. Hey, God don't really deal with you in there, does he? That's exactly where God's that relationship builder in your mind. God gets personal, building a personal relationship with each person. He's fair, so he's, no, no, just look good outside, and that's what it's all about. Outward appearance, they're beautiful on the outward. Yeah, outwardly they look beautiful. Ew, yuck. Do you want that bullshit? No. Let's get into it a little bit more. They're like, oh, somebody, I'm not going to say their name, but going, Whoa! I'm stalling and profiling! <laughs> He's a big shine nail touch, big stage actor. Making his money. Dude's old now. Huh? I don't have to say who it is. Kind of like a Hulk Hogan, you know, with this guy here. Pretty much about that level on the wrestlers of natural. They're wrestling their own natural carnal beast thinking in their mind. And they're, whoa! Trying to outside the cup. Hey, look at me, man. I'm beautiful out for you. Yeah, brother in the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh, all that stuff out. Every time I turn around, whoa! <laughs> he carried on like an idiot. It's just a big stage performer. That's all it is. Kind of funny, really. <laughs> Played like a villain and all kinds of stuff up there. Just kind of right, get emotions, and it's just a, it's just entertainment, really. Cause they lock a guy up for acting that stupid, doing all that stuff, crazy stuff. It, nah. <laughs> all right. Now. Let me read this first again. Woe, pain, grief, and suffering to you, unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Huh? Hypocrites, that's a stage performers, pretenders, putting on all this facade. Oh, yes, they are pretenders. Pretending that they're godly songs. They're really full of old, what is it, dead men's bones. They're not doing nothing if they really kind of home. Right? <laughs> Got all kinds of uncleanliness. All, uh, and of all kinds of uncleanness. Let's look at that uncleanness just a little tiny bit. I'm not going to break it all down right now. We can do that later if you want me to. It's from the number 167. It's A-K-A-T-H-A-R-S-I-A. -A this word. <coughs> Strong's G-167. Acatharsia. <coughs> Acatharsia. Acatharsia. Okay. Man. Feminine noun. It comes from uh, etymology 169. It's uncleanness, impurity, lustful, luxuries. Luxurious, uh, 
impure motives. That's pretty, it's impure facade bullshit thinking. They're trying to get you to eat it. Here, eat this. I gotcha. <laughs> right? They hooked you right in the dang old mouth. Kill it. What's that in the, in the uh, yeah, in the Strong's, it's impur, impure. They're a quality. It's impure inside. They're not a person of substance inside. So, so on outside. Man, look how beautiful I am on the outside. Huh? Jesus is calling the number. Man, he's not a daggone limp. These guys are the ones of great influence, man. I can quote the Pentateuch, you know, the first five books in the Hebrew language, man. They can just start so smart. Everybody needs to bow down to them and... Well, they look down their long, sooty nose at you. Isn't there modern day Pharisees now? Hmm? Cock a doodle ah, All kinds of bullshit. Beast nature. Coming out from the inside, if you can see it. Hear it, taste, touch, and smell it. And they're polishing this man. I'm wearing a big old suit. Man, I'm driving in a limousine. Don't you dare talk to me because you might pollute me. Huh? And if you pay me a hundred dollars or forty nine ninety five, I'll sell you this prostitute and gospel. Oh, and the scribes they're trying to add their own two cents to what God says. And they're changing it, polluting it. They're not getting in there and looking at it and really trying to give you a reflection of what that picture is that God's showing them, is telling. They're trying to give you a picture of this bullshit outside stuff. That's worthless and detestable, dumb thinking, animal excrement, crap. Huh? It's all the same stuff. Or you say shit, bullshit, scat, hmm, dumb, poopy. Same stuff. Get rid of that old taboo stuff. That's the Jebusite gets that. They're saying, they're saying Dude, that's a nasty. God's going to throw you in hell. That's all right. Didn't we cover that a little bit ago in that other, the other one? That carnal man wants to make the letter of the law. They want to, that's all right to condemn you to hell. But don't you dare you say these stuff, do this stuff that we say that you shouldn't do. Hmm? Don't you dare agree with God and call what we're doing bull crap. Because you know it makes us look good on the outside. That's what you really ought to do, this good and bad stuff. Don't you dare listen to God, just bury that stuff. Don't trust that. Trust me. And that's inside. First and foremost in your mind. And then listen to other quackers, squackers out there. Paul's still so good, right? Dead man's bones. Mm -hmm. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Right? Now, <clears throat> they got poor quality in their mind. All right, now, let's look at this and uh, read this just a little bit. So don't trust that. Woo! I'm styling and profiling, putting on this big facade out here, man. <laughs> What's a facade? Let's have Alexa look at it. Alexa, define facade. Facade is usually defined as the front of a building especially an imposing or decorative one. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for facade. Alexa, give me more definitions for facade. I have two more definitions for the noun. Facade. One, any side of a building facing a public way or space and finished accordingly. Face the two, people. a superficial appearance or illusion of something. Superficial appearance or illusion of something. Oh, bro, no, look at me, how righteous I am. <laughs> Dude, spew that stuff out of your mouth. Reject it. 
with extreme disgust, right? Let me get back to this. <laughs> now, <clears throat> take a quick look. I'm not going to break it down totally, but in this scribes, and that comes from the word, oh my goodness, G-R-A-M-M-A-T-E-U-S. Kind of like, it looks like got grammatic in there. It's got other etymology. Strong's stuff. G-1122. <clears throat> Grammatus. Grammatus. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's read this online biblical. They're a public servant, secretary, recorder, whose office and influence differed in different states. In the Bible, a man learned of the Mosaic Law, the letter of the law, and in the sacred writings, an interpreter, a teacher. Scribes examined the more difficult thing, uh, the more difficult and subtle questions of the law added, they added to the Mosaic Law. They added to what God said. Trying to put their own two cents in. Twist it to their own destruction. Your own car mind does that for you. Twist it to its own destruction. Okay? They added to the Mosaic Law decisions of various kinds thought to elucidate. I kind of thought that makes it better. You can understand it here. We'll add to it. <laughs> we'll make it twisted and change it to where you believe that dark thinking. Oh. Huh? To elucidate its meaning and scope and did this to the detriment of religion, to the truth of God, not mankind religion. Huh? Mankind thinking do you up. The God's truthfulness. The God loves you beyond the mere description of words. And we'll keep that quiet now. You don't wanna know nothing about that. We just shine outside cup and Keep that me, myself, and I in control, right? And your ego's got to run the rule, rule the roost, right? Got to take care of your own self, right, man? Stand up for your right. You got a right to think, to eat your bull crap. I need your job, the dogs. Do it your way. Mm. Yuck. Throw that stuff out for trash. I wouldn't even feed that to your dog. Well, I will give it worse than worms, okay? Since the advice of men skilled in the law, that letter of the law, was needed in the examination. See, the letter of the law kills. That's red way. If you want somebody skilled, a true prophet, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor who teaches hmm, the fivefold ministry, but that can be one person in, in, in uh, they can operate. The spirit can operate in whichever way he wants. Uh, whichever way God wants you is speaking the truth. God loves you beyond the mere description of words. Open this up. Give you the right food. At whatever level you need. So you can grow spiritually. You can green like God and increase. Not this red letter way. You can go down and think you're doing a good thing. I'm serving God as I go down the toilet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, blah, blah. Where was that? Since the advice of the men skilled in the law was needed in the examination, in the causes, and the solution of the difficult questions, they were enrolled in the Sanhedrin. That old religious crap. Hmm? The leaders of the religion, man made religious stuff. They're going to give you doo doo and don't know. Like they was a cheap dog. Of, they was one of them interpreters huh? of the Jebusite. Greater and mightier than you. Bully. Tyrant. Hmm? Twist it to your own destruction. Don't believe that bullcrap. Huh? They gonna throw you in hell. Cause you know God's gonna do it, don't you? That's not good news. You sound like God really messed up. Or trust me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and our... Mentioned in connection with the priests and elders of the people. It's humanistic thinking. Ugh. I don't want that. I don't want it filtered through their humanistic thinking. 
to my own humanistic thinking. What's good and evil? I want to trust God. Trust the Lord with all, trust in the Lord with all your heart, all your thinking process, every bit of it, and let him chop it out. Skim it out. Way out. Like my wife just said, way out. Yeah, then you can do a woo and then not be a facade because it's getting down in there and digging it out. Digging in the earth. Getting that golden nature of God. What are you doing in the natural? They dig. They mine for gold. Gold's representative of God's nature, character, authority. When it comes out, it's a golden ore. It's not purified yet. God's got to surgically remove that stuff and heat that stuff up so it comes up as dross in that refiner's pot and skim it off. You agree as you agree. Let me uh, skim this one off. That's pretty good temperature. Get that one out, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, but we got it. You want to hear? Oh, no, I'll wait till it cools down and clang, clang. Or you can say, yes, I agree emphatically. Oh, yes, Father, thank you. Worshiping, praising, adoring. Letting God increase you as he skims it off. It's yuck. It's not to condemn you. It's to get that stuff out of you so that you can grow into a higher quality of God. Not just higher quality of outside shining as your cup. These scribes and Pharisees. <coughs> now, I'll just say on the Pharisees because I'm not going to be able to get that in there. I've already done it. But they're bitter enemies of Jesus Christ and his cause. That's Yahweh his salvation. Jesus, 24, 24. They're bitter enemies of Jesus Christ and his cause. These, fair, these scribes are interpreters like they're little, like lynchmans or their right hand men. Of that old beast, yuck, Jebusite stuff. Hmm? Yeah, they really, it's like they got all these doctrines and stuff on the wall that says, man, they know their bullshit. I mean, I mean, maybe they know their crap. No, uh, hmm, same thing. Maybe they know they're done. Humanistic thinking. Don't believe them. Ooh, don't believe that in your mind. Don't let it go through your beast nature and get it coming out the other end. What do you get when it goes through the beast? The donkey eats it and goes all the way through the beast and it comes out. You get poop. Are you going to eat that polycreep? Man, you put that right on there. That was filtered right out of the scribes and Pharisees thinking process in yourself and in others. Man, you <laughs> chop a dog. Tastes good in your mouth. And man, it makes you sicker and all get out inside. <laughs> okay. Pollute your thinking, doesn't it? All right. Now, uh... We'll just pick up right here. And are mentioned in connection with the priests and elders of the people. You yuck. It goes on down. Tells more. You can see a uh, Bible dictionary for more information on the scribes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, they're a writer. Uh, they, they interpreted. They added their own two cents. Twist it to your own destruction. Don't let it twist. Don't let that dark thinking in you. Red man thinking, your dynamic nature, twist it to your own destruction, and don't believe their facade, and they're twisting, hmm, like of a false prophet, hmm, twist it to your own destruction, no, true prophet, not the end time prophetic, stuff. no, it's an interpreter of the word of God, interpret it correctly for you. So you can have good food, this meat, at whatever level. And remember, a baby, a newborn baby doesn't get, doesn't need mature fruit. They choke them out. <coughs> and the cares of the world, like that, like that reading, wrapped around her throat. And it <coughs> More than fighting, I keep trying to fight with it, with my good and evil. <coughs> and it just chokes the daylight out of me. I pull on that thing, and I pull, and I pull as hard as I can. <laughs> and it feels like my head's going to pop off. Well, you big dummy. You got that reed wrapped around your head a couple times, and you're pulling on it. What do you expect? Let go and let God chop it out, skim it out, remove that reed. <laughs> you kind of like, man, I was a dumbass. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would try to stand up in my own righteousness, and man, it was a kill on my butt. The harder I worked, the more it strangled me. And I was right down in that beast nature, like Jonah, three days, three nights. Man, I was thinking, God's doing this forever and ever and ever, and I'm in hell, oh no. Huh? When you're in that pressure every second, every instant, feels like, oh man, it's forever. How long is this going to last? What was me? But you can't buy into that. Oh man, that stuff kill your butt. Come out of that stuff. Let God rescue you. You're like his potential bride. Let him bring you on up. All this stinking, poopy thinking. Like in this storm, it's air. A-E-R. That's through the idea of a baffling or confusing wind. This stuff, I'm all confused because I'm choking the heck out of myself and I don't even know it. Man, I'm working hard. <laughs> my hand's about to come off. <laughs> well, you keep doing it real hard. You do it hard enough. You fight, you wrestle against the Spirit of God hard enough. You might pop your head off. <laughs> you big dummy. Oh, I didn't know I was doing that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. God, God sits in the heavens and laughs, right? Hmm? He loves us more than words can even say. <laughs> you know, that's ridiculous, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm just going, I only got a little bit, I'm just going to touch a little bit on Pharisees, okay? In this verse. Oops. I just call it Pharisees. It's 5330, P-H-A-R-I-S-I-S-A-I-O-S. I don't know. This word. <coughs> 5330, Pharisees. The old quacking, squacking, religious separatists. Better than you. Bertha and Buford, better than you. Man, I'm too good for you, man. Look down my long stony nose in my big old suit. Because, you know, it's all, it's, all, it's all about looking your best. You got to wear your best. And better come every Wednesday and Thursday, Sunday. Bull crap. Not about some building and all this stuff. You know you're not that you are the temple of the living God. God's calling it out in you. In me. It's fine meeting with people. And the building's fine. It's a meeting place, a warm place. Appreciate it. But that's not what you're doing. That's not the only place you can love God, worship God, submit to God, you do that continually in your mind. Pray it continually without ceasing. Come on, man. Now, it's a, a separatist, exclusively religious. I'm probably not going to have time to read all this. I have read it before to you. Pretty sure, yeah, I think a couple times. Let me read a little bit of it. <coughs> it's about Pharisees. <coughs> A sect that seems to have started after the Jewish exile. In the Old Testament books, the Pharisees recognized in oral tradition of standard belief uh, of life, they sought a distinction of praise by outward observation of external rites, not internal, not where God's really working. They're trying to do it themselves. Trying to keep you bad and boozled. And praised by outward observance of external rites and, and by outward perf, uh, forms of piety, of godliness. Such as ceremonial washings, fastings of natural food. Not fasting of that carnal stuff. That's inside. That's too personal now. <laughs> they're not They're not real. They're like at stage protect. Hip, what did Jesus call them? Hypocrites, you stage performers. You old BSers. You're full of dung. All right? Alms. They want to give their alms giving. They want everybody to know it. 
and thought what God's trying to do. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand's doing, right? And comparatively negligent. They're negligent of genuine piety, of godliness. Hmm. They prided themselves on their fancy good works. It's not by, not by works that any man boast. And held strenuously to the belief in existence of good and evil angels. Fat naked babies, don't no time. Wings on and all that. And to the expectation of a Messiah. They didn't recognize Jesus as the Messiah. Huh? As the anointed Messiah. Huh? And they cherished the hope of the, of the, that the dead, after a preliminary experience in, of reward and of penalty in Hades, they want to throw you, huh? Ah. Will be called to life by him and be requited, each according to his individual deeds, in opposition to the dominion of the Herods and of the Romans. They stoutly upheld the theory of the country's cause and possessed an influence with the people according to jewish uh josephs they numbered more than six thousand the number of man time okay times a thousand the number of mankind uh hmm. they were bitter enemies of jesus christ and his cause and were in turn rebuked by him for their avarice ambition hollow reliance on outward works and a Affection to their gain of popularity. Please hit like and subscribe. Comment on these. Pass these around. Let's get this out.